Big, big changes coming to nursing home regulation thanks to pandemic's destruction, Grabowski says, and more than two-thirds of long-term care executives using expensive agencies to fill staff vacancies, according to an NIC survey. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, November 18th, 2020. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Because of the devastation of the pandemic was wrought on nursing homes, regulatory changes likely are coming according to a highly respected long-term care researcher. Quote, I think we're going to see some big, big changes going forward, said David Grabowski, PhD, a professor of healthcare policy at Harvard Medical School. He was the opening day keynote speaker on Friday for the virtual conference of the National Association for the Support of Long-Term Care, or NASL. The plethora of pandemic-related problems, among them the exorbitant number of resident and staff deaths, resident loneliness due to shutdowns and low occupancy rates and hospital admission rates, has revealed underlying systemic problems, Grabowski said. These include low Medicaid payments, inadequate pay for staffing, an ineffective regulatory model, lack of quality transparency, and fragmented ownership structures. The pandemic has, quote, revealed the fragility of nursing homes' business model and our underinvestment in high-quality long-term care, said Grabowski. He served on the Coronavirus Commission for Safety and Quality in Nursing Homes, which released a report in September that provided 27 recommendations and over 100 action steps for CMS. The report analyzed areas ranging from testing to access to visitation to aging nursing homes infrastructure. In the long run, the goal is to reimagine nursing homes, he said on Friday, noting that there will likely be a shift away from nursing homes to home and community-based care settings. Among the changes he'd like to see are smaller nursing home settings, such as the greenhouse model of care, which has endured fewer deaths from the pandemic. He also noted, however, that such a model has implementation changes. One of the biggest problems the pandemic has revealed is the lack of investment in staff from poor pay to lack of PPE and testing, he said. Nursing homes need to provide hazard pay, a living wage, and non-punitive sick leave to staff, among other benefits. He noted that the death count among staff has surpassed that of logging workers and commercial fishermen, the two most dangerous professions in the United States before the pandemic. Now, with more than 1,000 staff deaths in nursing homes, the caregiver is, quote, the most dangerous job in America, he said. A majority of senior housing and skilled nursing operators are relying on staffing agencies or temporary workers to meet their workforce needs in recent weeks, a new survey revealed. More than two-thirds of executives for senior housing and skilled nursing operators reported that they're using the outside resources to fill vacancies, the National Investment Center for Seniors Housing and Care, NIC, found. The findings were from NIC's Wave 15 executive survey. Responses came from 64 operator executives and were collected from October 26th to November 8th. Quote, although down slightly from Wave 14, October 12th through the 25th, most respondents are continuing to pay staff overtime hours, putting ongoing strain on the net operating income. NIC Senior Principal Lana Peck explained in a blog post on Thursday that detailed the survey results. The figure is up from mid-April when only 36% of executives reported using a hiring agency or temporary staff to deal with the workforce shortages. Workforce struggles have been a key issue for providers all over, with many saying the issues have been exacerbated by the pandemic. A top official at CMS during our NACA's staffing summit in late October pledged that turnover among CNAs along at long-term care facilities will remain a key focus for the agency in the months and years to come. This has been your Long-Term Care News Update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.